today's lesson is gonna be totally rocking, guys, because we're taking a trip back to the early 2000s to one of the most popular series of that era, Hannah Montana. That's better. The weather was way too hot. All right, so we're going to take a trip down memory lane and explore the world of Miley Stewart, who, of course, is the teenage girl with a secret double life as pop sensation Hannah Montana. The character of Hannah Montana was actually created specifically for Miley Cyrus, who was just 11 years old at the time. And her dad in the show was played by her real dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you are new here, you shouldn't miss out on any of our new fun lessons. So hit that subscribe button, and that way every single week, we can bring you fun new lessons like this one so you can understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. In this scene, Lily is in Hannah Montana's dressing room, not realizing that Hannah is actually her best friend, Miley. Let's take a look at what happens when Lily finally discovers the truth. Trescott, and I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Did you show pie in your face? It's not a real pie. It's, um, a foaming facial wash. Hi. What's wrong with your voice? Um, that happens after every concert. You give so much. I, I just wish Miley were here. Uh, Miley? Who's Miley? I don't know Miley. That's a strange name. Oh, she's my best friend. Right. Well then, why don't you go get us? Oh, great idea. I'll call her. No. You know, some of us don't really work in here. It has to do with the walls and the cement and... Okay, they must have fixed it. Aren't you gonna get that? Uh, 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 no. I'm talking to you. That would be rude. Okay, she's not home. Well, that was weird. Whoever you are, you have to get out of here right now or I'll call security. Wait. Did you notice that the T at the end of get and out is pronounced with a flap T or D sound? The words then flow into each other to sound like, get out of here now. Let's practice that. You have to get out of here right now or I'll call security. Whoever you are, you have to get out of here right now or I'll call security. Wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. I was just looking for a souvenir. A souvenir is an object that you keep or collect to remind you of a place or an event that you have visited or experienced. They can be things like postcards, keychains, magnets, t-shirts, or other small items that you can buy to remember your trip or experience. For example, I bought a souvenir keychain at the gift shop to remember my trip to the beach. Here's a funny example from friends. Hey, so what do you find, gentlemen, in the market for? We got uh, scarves, souvenir postcards. Check this out, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just imagine being able to become fluent in English without having to spend tons of money on boring courses or draining hours of your precious time in boring textbooks that just don't really get you the results that you want. Well, you can make that dream a reality with our Fluent with Friends course. Now, in this course, we take you through a journey with the first two seasons of the popular TV series Friends, and all along the way, you will learn to understand natives at any speed by mastering the principles of connected speech. You'll learn how to communicate confidently by learning vocabulary that we natives actually use in our everyday life. And you'll laugh along with every single joke. So you can try it for free right now with our three-part masterclass. If you want to sign up for that, just click up here or down in the description below. <laughs> The word shove 
is often used to describe a forceful or aggressive movement, similar to a push. However, if a person eats quickly without taking the time to properly chew or savor their food, we say that they shove food in their mouth. It's not a real pie. It's um a foaming facial wash. When something foams, it produces lots of light bubbles, which look creamy or frothy, like you might see on top of a coffee or dessert. What's going on? Why are we getting foamed? This is a court show. The losers get foamed on Pam's court. That's insane. What's wrong with your voice? Um, that happens after every concert. You give so much. <laughs> when Lily says, you give so much, she expresses gratitude and admiration for the dedication and hard work Hannah puts into her performances. For example, he's an excellent manager. He gives so much to ensure the success of his team. I, I just wish Miley were here. Uh, Miley? Who's Miley? I don't know Miley. That's a strange name. Oh, she's my best friend. Let's take a closer look at the grammar in this sentence. Now, this is an example of the subjunctive mood, which is used to express hypothetical or unreal situations. It often appears in sentences with words like wish, if, although, suggest, and recommend. We use the subjective mood when we want to describe a wish for something to be different than it is or was. For a wish about a situation in the present, as is the case in the scene, we use the past tense equivalent of the verb be, which conjugates to were in the subjunctive mood. Another example would be, he wishes he were a millionaire. Now, why not practice writing your own sentences with the subjunctive mood? Here's mine. I wish I were fluent in every single language in the world so I could communicate with all you guys. All right, I'm looking forward to reading yours down in the comments below, so go leave one now. You know, some of us don't really work in here. It has to do with the walls and the cement and... Cement is used to describe a material that is used in construction to create strong and durable structures. For example, the workers use cement to fill the cracks in the wall. Here, we have another example of reduction. Instead of saying, they must have, Miley reduces the entire word have to a schwa or a sound. Also, the ed from fixed connects to it. So what we hear is, they must have fixed it. Let's listen again. Must have fixed it. <laughs> Aren't you gonna get that? Lily uses nice examples of connected speech here. First, when a word ending in a T sound is followed by a word beginning with a Y sound, they often morph into a CH sound. So, aren't you becomes aren't you. Then, she uses the reduced form of going to, which is gonna. Finally, the T at the end of get and that is pronounced with a stop T sound, which means that the T sound is not fully pronounced, but is instead stopped at the back of the throat. Get that. Together, this becomes, aren't you gonna get that? Aren't you gonna get that? Uh, why don't I just give you an autograph for? What about me? I'm the one who loves you! <sighs> You're much paler in person. <laughs> yeah, I am. You know what? Gosh, it was really fun meeting you guys, but I've really gotta go. Wait! Can't I even shampoo and condition your beautiful blonde hair? No, but you can take this towel. Hannah Montana's towel. <laughs> it's okay! None of my blood got on the towel! Well, I guess I'm leaving too. Okay. Without even a towel as a souvenir. Bye-bye. <laughs> Which will fade too, too quickly. All right, all right. Here. Oh my gosh! The actual scarf you wore on the actual stage! I can't believe it! This is so. Hey, I have a lucky bracelet just like that. I loaned it to my best friend yesterday. Of course, mine says Lily on the back. <laughs> just like that. Uh, why don't I just give you an autograph for? An autograph is a special signature or message from someone famous or important that you admire as a reminder of that moment or as a treasured item for collection. Hey, Joey said no autographs. 
but, but if she's getting one, I want one too. To Monica, and none of this best wishes crap. I want love. You're much paler in person. <laughs> When someone looks pale, it means that the person's skin color looks lighter or more washed out than usual. In this case, Oliver is implying that Hannah's face looks lighter than in pictures or on video, which is funny because her face is covered in pie. What up, Bernard? You look even paler here. And you look perfect here. Can't I even shampoo and condition your beautiful blonde hair? No, but you can take this towel. We can see that Hannah Montana has blonde hair, which is a hair color that is typically light or golden yellow in appearance. Do you know what we call these hair colors? Brunette, red or ginger, gray. Can't I even shampoo and condition your beautiful blonde hair? No, but you can take this towel. Similar to the connected speech we practiced earlier, the T at the end of but joins with the Y in you to create a ch sound. So, but you becomes but you. But you can, let's listen again. No, but you can take this tap. Nothing but my memories, which will fade too, too quickly. All right, all right. When something fades, it means that over time it will become less clear or important and eventually disappear. For example, the colors of my favorite shirt are starting to fade after many washes. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? Hey, I have a lucky bracelet just like that. Friend yesterday. Of course, mine says Lily on the back. <laughs> a lucky bracelet is a piece of jewelry that someone wears as a symbol of luck so that good things will happen to them. It is usually worn around the wrist. Hey, I have a lucky bracelet just like that. I loaned it to my best friend yesterday. Of course, mine says Lily on the back. <laughs> Loaned is the past tense of the word loan, and it means to give something to someone for a temporary period of time, like a car or money. For example, my friend loaned me her car for the weekend, so I could go to the shops. Better yet, we could move to a place that doesn't have bed bugs. I don't want her money. I want our money she owes us. We loaned her $50,000. We gave her $50,000. Oh. Uh, why don't I just give you an autograph for? What about me? I'm the one who loves you. You're much paler in person. <laughs> yeah, I am. You know what? Gosh, it was really fun meeting you guys, but I've really got to go. Wait! Can't I even shampoo and condition your beautiful blonde hair? No, but you can take this towel. Hannah Montana's towel. <laughs> it's okay! None of my blood got on the towel! <laughs> Which of these is a synonym for shove? Punch? Push? Pinch. Well, I guess I'm leaving too. Okay. Without even a towel as a souvenir. Bye bye. <laughs> Nothing but my memories. Which will fade too, too quickly. All right, all right. Here. Oh my gosh! The actual scarf you wore on the actual stage! I can't believe it! This is so. Hey, I have a lucky bracelet just like that. I loaned it to my best friend yesterday. Of course, mine says Lily on the back. <laughs> just like that. If you loan something to someone, you are a lender and they are a borrower, loaner, payer.
Hey, if you're a fan of Miley Cyrus, then I bet you love music and you probably would love learning English with some fun songs. So I put together this list of some great songs that you can take your English to the next level with in 2023. Let's check it out. This is a fantastic instance of connected speech. This last segment sounds very connected. We hear two instances of the American tea, despite Harry being British. Back at it again. Back at it again. You, you're back at it again. 